Cindy, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, it's been a few weeks now, at least, uh, since this package was announced. Uh, how are you feeling about the deal that's on the table? Well, I think that we can do much better for children uh, across the country and ensure that Canada is held accountable for its discrimination. There are some positive things in this agreement that can be built on, uh, but at this point, I think it's falling a bit short of stopping the discrimination and preventing it from happening again, especially after year 10, because it's only a 10-year agreement, uh, mm -hmm. Dennis. It's not clear what happens after that. Right. Uh, a lot could change uh, government-wise, too. Um, you know, Cindy, when it comes to the consultation side, I know you're out speaking with First Nations who've asked to speak with you. Uh, what are you hearing about the consultation process so far? Well, I think that it's feeling to many people very rushed, especially over the summer, as people are dealing with ceremony and family and also, sadly, far too many natural emergencies. So, uh, but despite that, what I've been so incredibly impressed with, Dennis, has been how many of the leadership and their experts have really just doubled up the effort, sometimes canceled vacations to make sure they can go through this because they really want to make the best decision for their kids. Now, in terms of uh, the Canadian Rights Tribunal for non-compliance hearings, uh, you're going to be back uh, uh, with that. Uh, what's that one about? Yeah, that's on Jordan's principle, Dennis. What we've been seeing uh, is actually we had to negotiate an agreement with Canada for it to comply with Jordan's principle and to breach that agreement, which is material to the idea that they want people to agree to this now. Um, and what we're seeing are uh, thousands of cases where the department is not even opening up the request for Jordan's principle. We've seen children in urgent circumstances not getting the help that they need. And sadly, you know, this has resulted in serious damage for children, including uh, at least the deaths of two young children earlier this spring. So we're doing another non-compliance order. Um, and that's being heard on the 10th to the 12th of September. And I'm really hoping APTN will be there as they always are uh, to bring this to people because I think it's really important that we make sure the government complies and doesn't discriminate against any child. Right. And shortly after that will be the chief's meeting here in Winnipeg, the vote on the $49 billion settlement. Uh, how confident are you that that's going to pass? Um, I'm. I don't know. I mean, that'll be up to the chiefs, but I am concerned. I think that there needs to be some substantial amendments to this agreement to ensure that it really meets the needs of every First Nations child across the country. And I'm not sure it's enough time uh, mm -hmm. before September. In fact, the national chief actually said when this before this was announced, you might remember, Dennis, that people would be given 120 days with the agreement, which seems like a fair, a reasonable period of time. Well, that's been shortened. And also French speaking chiefs only got a copy of this agreement last week so they have not even had a chance to really go through it at all on the same terms as everyone else so I'm hoping that actually gets pushed off and that we use this as a good information and uh, dialogue session in September and put the vote off until people can actually uh, uh, really uh, respect their free prior informed consent because this is so sacred this work with children. Cindy, I guess, do you feel as though you've been put on the sidelines as the AFN is taking the lead on this? Well, we haven't been a part of it, um, and that was disappointing because we made clear that, well, we had to leave the agreement in principle process because we wanted to file this non-compliance order with Canada. Uh, we actually wanted to be a part of this final settlement agreement, and, not, and importantly, not just us, Dennis. Like, we're an organization, but we have so much respect for the uh, frontline people out there delivering these services every day, youth formerly in care themselves, elders, knowledge keepers, and, of course, the leadership. This was a fairly close negotiation, and uh, so there weren't too many people sitting around that table, and I, I'd like to see that change. Well, Cindy, appreciate you taking some time, as we know you're busy. Looking forward to seeing you here in Winnipeg in a couple of weeks. Hey, thank you, Dennis.